Yes, good evening. City officials first issued an executive order about vaccine verification requirements, and now it's set in stone. And that means if you're not vaccinated, you will not be able to enjoy a lot of indoor businesses within the city. At Izzy's Barber Shop in West Hollywood, owner Israel Garcia has endured many changes during the pandemic. It was confusing, it was stressful, to be quite honest. Um, but I'm so blessed that I, um, I still have my business. And now another change. In a city council meeting Monday, city leaders decided to officially require vaccine verification at most establishments in West Hollywood, starting on October 11th. The city's order requires vaccine verification requirements for indoor areas of restaurants, theaters, the cannabis consumption lounge, entertainment venues. Meaning any business serving food, offering personal care or health and fitness services will need to check for vaccine proof. And that includes a lot of businesses like Garcia's Barbershop. He sees no problem with the mandate. Well, I think it's very important to, um, you know, to have all that vaccination, proof of vaccination for everybody, just for the safety of everybody. Customer Urell agrees. I personally love that because then for me, when I walk into a place, I just have that extra layer of safety and comfort, and it just puts me at ease, you know, knowing that everyone has that extra layer of protection. The news is spreading to West Hollywood residents, and many support the city's decision. It just makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Um, I know that that is sort of a controversial thing, I, I think almost, but. Uh, I think it's a really good thing for the community, to be honest. I think it's great. I think it's common sense. I don't know why it would even be a question. Um, I do that anyway, and I carry around my uh, vaccine card in my wallet just so I always have it. Businesses will be required to post signs at their entrances about vaccination proof. And though the mandate is an added responsibility that may come with pushback, owners like Garcia say they're ready. 90% of my clientele are vaccinated. So if um, if I lose 10% of clientele that they don't, don't want to get vaccinated or show me the proof, I mean, too bad, you know, for them. Um, we're here. Whenever they get their vaccine, they can come back. And we're here to serve them. And cut their hair, make them look beautiful. <laughs> and if someone does not want to comply, they will be able to use the outdoor portion of these facilities. And at this time, there are no details about whether or not the city will be monitoring and enforcing this mandate. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News. Yeah, and easier selling liberal West Hollywood than other more conservative communities. Coco, thank you.